Leg six of the Moore's Million Stairs will kick off day three of week five. Then this is a three and a quarter mile, naught to one thirty version of it. And the top one is Uini talking for Thomas Rogers, Griffin Guest, Darren Thompson, Florence Nightingale, Paul Rhodes, Westwire Rush, Martin Lidham, Swindy Home, James Shea, Big Fat Truth, Greg Beckwith, Toulon Ballard, James Shea, Cy Ram for Graham Clutterbuck, Bucko, Martin Lidham, Radia, David Hooley, and Hollywood National, Derek. Hinton, so 11 then, that's also usually at big fields in these Moors Millions, but we're short of numbers this year, they're away and off, and uh, racing down towards the first of the fences in this opening race on day three, and Radia is the first one to show into the first ditch, which they're all safer to the other side of, and they've got 16 more to take, and Radia is two lengths clear at the moment of Toulon Ballad in second, Looking towards the back, Hollywood National for Derek Hinton in the pink and black, just about the back mark. Well, as you can see, they're almost in a line, about two and a half lengths probably between the whole field, with the exception of that leader, Radir, who leads by about two and a half as well. So Radir in front then, with Griffin Guest probably just about showing second. Westwire Rush in the same colours as the leader closest to us as they get over fence number two. And they're all safely over that one, and Westwire Rush has moved into second. So purple silk horses then, first and second. Different trainers though, David Hooley in the lead, and me in second. So it's Radir in front from Westwire Rush, then Bucko and Swindy Holmes, Syram after that one, and then Big Fat Truth as they take the next with Ueni talking, just a back marker over that one then, but they're all jumping soundly enough at the moment and making their way down towards the next this is the fourth it's a plain one the leader stood off it but got over it okay westwire rush was the first one to make a serious looking mistake down on his nose and he shuffled all the way to the back so one little mistake in the field this tightly packed and you go from second to last in the space of a couple of strides so right here then he's four lengths clear and comfortable in the lead with swindy home just about second from Florence Nightingale on its outside, on its inside, slightly covered up his side arm. Right over on the rail, too long, bad in the same colours as Swindy Home. Then after that one is Griffin Guest as they get over number five, which they're all over safely. After Griffin Guest is Booker and then Big Fat Truth, Westwire Rush getting back on an even keel again, and Hollywood National and Uini talking on the back two, but there's still an awful long way to go. And they're all close enough as they get to this big ditch, and over that one they go, and they're all safely over it with Radir continuing to show the way, leading by about two and a half lengths to Toulon Ballard and Florence Nightingale. Syra after that one, it's nicely covered up that one. Westwire Rush is still widest on the track, being trapped by his stablemate in the different colours. That's Bucko, the maroon with a yellow cap. And he's back to still Hollywood National and you when he's talking as they make their way up the straight then past that big pond. and. The crowd on the near side won't be able to see the crowd. Oh, there they are. There's the crowd. As we can see them in the distance, they get over that one. We didn't see them jump it, but they all got over it okay. And Radir continues to lead, making their way into what will be the final furlong on the next circuit. And Radir is the leader. Going to come up past the winning post in there. For the circuit to go. And Radir is in the lead. There we go. We see them from the top of the stand again. And Rady is in the lead by about four to Syram in second and Florence Nightingale is third. Westwire Rush is four and Griffin Guest is five. There comes two Ballard and Swindy Home and then Big Fat Truth and then Bucko. And then the back to Hollywood National and you when he's talking as they take number eight. And that time Big Fat Truth was the one that didn't jump it all that cleverly and has just lost a place or two. But there's still only a dozen lengths first to last. And Rady has led all the way so far. Westwire Rush has now moved back up into second. He's going to try and tuck over to the inside after going round the outside of the whole of the first circuit they get to this plain one which they all take nicely although you when he talking at the back was a little bit slow over it but still on its feet that one and Radia in the lead as it has been all the way so far well inside the final mile and a half now and Radia is still three clear and jumping well good jump by West while Rush in second Griffin Guest has moved through into third Swindy Home is four Bucco getting closer on the outside five Florence Nightingale is next Syrah has just dropped back a little bit as two as two long ballot then big fat truth as they get to this ditch you've any talking still the back marker but still close enough if good enough and Radia in the lead now by a length and a half to West while Rush in second Bucco moving around the outside is now third then Swindy Home and Florence Nightingale, Griffin Guest. It's a wide open race. This one, Syram, is still nicely placed in the middle of the pack. Then trying to get a bit closer now is Hollywood National. Big Fat Truth on that one's outside and 
on the inside rail there is Toulon Ballard the back one you any talking is still in touch as they get to the 12th and over that one they go and Radia is in the lead but Bucco jumped it better in second who's being chased by Florence Nightingale the jockey on Swindy home a little look around and see where they are here comes Toulon Ballard now bursting through to throw down this challenge is that going to be the first one out of the pack to play its hand it's Radia in the lead Toulon Ballard into second and there was a faller there Florence Nightingale's gone Florence Nightingale's gone I think it might have been slightly hampered by Swindy home making a mistake but Florence Nightingale is the first one out of the race and it's Radia in the lead over the 14th they go three more to go and then Swindy Home's gone that time so Swindy Home had made a mistake at the fence before I think Radia still just in front from Toulon Ballard then comes Bucco West by rushes the one that's dropped right out of it while those fallers are over those couple of fences but it's Radia on the inside of Toulon Ballard Radia and Toulon Ballard Bucco is third then Griffin Guest and Syram. then after that one Hollywood National is trying to get into it there's five furlongs to go and they've been driven there down towards the third last and over that one they go and Toulon Ballard landed in front from Radia in second Bucco on the outside third Griffin Guest and Syram. Big Fat Truth is now coming in with a run. Also trying to run on now is Uveni talking. West Wild Rush looks the only one definitely beaten. Although Hollywood Nationals dropping away over the second last. The final ditch. And there's another faller there. Hollywood Nationals gone. And Toulon Ballard is now the clear leader. Toulon Ballard by a length. To the long time leader right here in second. Bucco and Syram next. Then Big Fat Truth is surely between these then. They've only got one more fence to take. And they've got two and a half furlongs to race. It's Toulon Ballard in the lead by two and a half lengths. Toulon Ballard then being chased by Syram. Right here and Bucco, Big Fat Truth on the outside. Two long battle, looking like he's only got to jump the last to take this opening race on day three. And Toulon Ballard gets over it and gets away from it well. Bucco jumps in one in second. Todu did Syram, but it's going to be Toulon Ballard into the final furlong. And Toulon Ballard will race up towards the run and will take this one pretty comfortably. Syram and Bucco are closing, but not anywhere near quick enough. And up towards the line, Toulon Ballard takes leg six of the North Williams qualifier. Toulon Ballard, the winner, Bucco second, Syram third, then Griffin gets four, right here five. And then West Wild Rush in the third will trail back to you when he talking it was last. So three casual is then in the final part of the race as it started to hot up but Toulon Ballard played his cards early and stole that one on the turn really didn't he so Toulon Ballard takes it Bucco second Syram third connections to follow that's the opening race on day three Toulon Ballard for James Shea the winner then Bucco for Martin Leedon was second Syram for Graham Critical third Griffin Guest Darren Thompson fourth and Radia the long time leader for David Hooley was fifth